What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and today I am just going to give you guys an update on the London Hard Fork when it looks like it's going to be implemented right now, based on, of course, the block times, etc., along with how to check and make sure that you have the correct client versions for of course the nodes this is primarily going to be important for the miners as it is related to the mining pool you are mining to this is because essentially if the mining pool you're mining to has not upgraded their client version to the ones that we have we are going to have listed here then you may experience some downtime while you are mining and in that case you may want to consider checking and seeing who has updated their clients to these particular versions and then going ahead and setting your rigs to those prior to of course the august 5th is what it's looking like launch of the london hard fork which will include eip 1559 along with the difficulty bomb defusing let's get into it right after a word from our sponsor Today's sponsor is Crypto.com. Crypto.com is my go-to centralized exchange for liquidating my crypto assets. With their Crypto.com Visa debit card, I can load up my mined Ethereum to pay for power and other operating costs quickly while earning up to 8% cash back. In addition to the Visa debit card, there are additional fiat options including wire transfers to easily receive your profits. Crypto.com also offers additional services including trading and even staking to earn additional revenue revenue on your investments. Join 10 million plus users buying and selling 100 plus cryptocurrencies at true cost by using my affiliate link in the description for a $25 funding bonus or enter referral code SOAT at sign up for the same bonus. Remember, cryptocurrency investment comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Welcome back. So we have the official announcement here just to go over it. And this was on July 21st, 2021. A consensus issue was identified on the Robston network where the Go Ethereum, Aragon, and Nethermind implementations had different transaction validation logic than Besu and Open Ethereum. New versions of the affected clients have been released and are linked in client versions table below. The block number for London is unchanged and that is still going to be 12,965,000. We talked previously about how you can go ahead and calculate that out based on the average block time. So check that video out if you're interested. Node operators using an affected client must upgrade to the latest version. An overview of issues in the consensus issue section, blah, blah, blah. Let's get into this. London, after a successful testnet deployment, the London upgrade is now ready to be activated on Ethereum mainnet. It will go live on block 12,965,000 once again, and that is expected between August 3rd and 5th of 2021. It's looking like it will be the 5th, just to be clear. We'll go over why in just a second, but this is going to be the important part, which is the client versions. In order to be compatible with the London upgrade, node operators will need to update the client version that they run. The versions listed below for each client support London on Ethereum mainnet. These releases are different from the previously announced releases that supported London on testnets. Previous versions do not support London on mainnet. So that's very important. You can see the cross outs here. But essentially what we have is for Go Ethereum, which is going to be a bulk, a majority of, of course, clients, especially when it pertains to mining pools, is going to be version 1.10.6. So it's very important that you check and make sure that the node is on that version. You have Nethermind, which will need to be version 1.10.79. Aragon, uh, also known as TurboGeth, is going to be 2021.07.04-alpha. Besu is going to be version 21.7.1. Open Ethereum, which is used quite a bit as well, is going to be version 3.3.0-rc.4. And 
the final one, Ethereum JS VM, needs to be version 5.5.0. There are some notes here. The Go Ethereum, Nethermind, and Aragon versions have been updated on July 23rd, 2021. And the other note is that the Open Ethereum climate, uh, <coughs> client excuse me, will be deprecated after the London upgrade. The OE team is working with Aragon on smooth transition path for users. More information can be found there. I will leave this link down below. Low. So the big notes, of course, let's go over these again, is going to be the changes for basically the fee payouts, which is EIP 1559. If you guys aren't aware, essentially this is going to change the fee structure for Ethereum, sp specifically how the fees function will be like so. Essentially there will be a base fee and then a tip. The tip will be what goes to the miners and the base fee will be burned, meaning that there will be no Ethereum left over essentially for whatever is burned, meaning that a lot of people are expecting it to go deflationary, which should increase the price of Ethereum. That's yet to be seen. That's just speculation. But it's important to note that this will impact mining rewards by how much is still unknown. And we will report on this channel once we have a better idea. Estimations are anywhere from 15 to 30 percent. And that will also be offset by the changes to MEV that a lot of pools are making. Specifically, uh, ethermine.org has been going through a lot of changes, making it easier for people to submit MEV directly through Flashbots.2, which we can talk about in a later video. And then of course, most of the pools have started implementing uh, MEV. Another big note is that on August 5th, when Ethermine updates its payout policy in relation to the London hard fork, they will be basically giving 100% of the MEV to the miners, as opposed to the previous 80%. And that is in an effort to compensate for the impact of EIP 1559 on mining rewards. So how can you find some of this stuff? Well, it can be a little bit difficult. What we do have here though is a countdown, which is ethernodes.org slash London. And you can go here and basically check and see how many people are ready versus not ready. And you can see here that currently 32% about are not upgraded yet and that's total nodes right total clients and right now 67.5 percent are ready for the london hard fork if you scroll down you can take a look at exchanges and see if they're updated obviously most of these are saying no information so it's going to be a little bit harder to track these down of the mining pools there are none that have any information as of right now on the Ethernodes website. That being said, there was an announcement from two miners today, and two miners has, as proof here on their Ethereum network stacks, upgraded to Geth version 1.10.6, and they are up and running. So as of right now, if you guys were are worried about you know the mining pool you're currently on having issues uh, during the fork and you want to try to protect your mining farm and profits as much as possible in the case that you know essentially the mining pool you're on doesn't upgrade in time this is the only pool that i have fully confirmed to be on the proper client version for the London hard fork, which is going to be two miners. Now, from my from my personal perspective, because I can see that here, they've advertised it, and you can see it basically upgrading on their network stats, then I am probably going to temporarily shift over my mining power to two miners just to stay safe through the transition and we'll have to see another option for you of course is just moving to a completely different coin entirely something like ergo or raven coin during the transition just to make sure you don't have any downtime uh, during the transition i don't foresee there being huge issues obviously ethereum and the mining pools are going to be highly incentivized to make sure that this goes through without a hitch and the mining pools will more than likely be upgraded in time. But in the case that they're not, of course, you could suffer some losses 
in profits. That's why we're doing this video. We want to make sure that everybody is up to date and aware of the current status. So let's hop back into it. If you need to take a look at pools that do support MEV, you can go to miningpoolstats.stream. It's going to be very important to be on a pool that supports MEV. And that is basically due to the decrease in, of course, the mining profitability due to EIP 1559. If you go to miningpoolstats.stream, you will see a notation here in green that says MEV profits, MEV profits, and so on. So you can basically get an idea there of which ones support that. Once again, going back to ethernodes.org, you can also take a look at the London upgrade countdown. And this countdown is monitoring the blocks and how many blocks are left to go. And as you can see, the London upgrade block of 12,965,000 is scheduled to occur on Thursday, August 5th, 2021 at 7.30 a.m. I am highly considering doing a live stream during this upgrade just to catch it live as it goes. But if I'm not live, there will be a couple of hosts on YouTube, ETH Staker being one. So you can definitely check those out by heading to ethernodes.org slash forward slash London. And then also just hit the notification bell on the bottom of this channel to be notified for when I go live on YouTube. That pretty much wraps it up. If you guys are looking to stay as safe as possible right now, or two miners, excuse me, looks to be the one that has already put in place the latest client version that supports London Hard Fork. We, you should be monitoring ethernodes.org and your particular mining pool for any changes that have been or have not been made and make sure they are on the client version depending on which client they're on that we listed at the beginning of the video for of course the announcement. So it's gonna get a little bumpy here boys. It's gonna get a little crazy. Just stay up to date. I'll try to keep you up to date on this channel. Tomorrow is going to be the fourth. We're gonna get more information on the fourth probably here coming up. So I'll be sure to follow that up. And then on the fifth in the morning, bright and early, it looks like we will be having the full on move to London. Let me know if you're excited for the fork and if you are, why? Let me know if you're not excited for the fork and let me know why. I think I know the answers to both of those depending on which side of the fence you sit on. And that primarily appears to be uh, investors versus miners, right? Users versus miners in general. Just remember, keep it clean. Have your discussion. You can have your opinion. No personal attacks. And let's get through this together. All right, boys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.